Uh, welcome back to uh, building our house here. Uh, I'm going to start digging out for the foundation. And we are planning on having, I, I don't know if they're catching the wind, maybe the wind's bothering the mic. Um, we're planning on having a ranch house, style house, one level living with a full walkout basement. Uh, but the property we have here is pretty flat, uh, relatively, so we're going to um, have to do some, uh, I don't know, some, I'm going to have to do some sculpting of the land so that we can get the house foundation to sink down as far into the ground as we can so it's not sticking way out. And um, so... I'm not sure if you can see it, but down where the tape is hooked is a stake. And <clears throat> over here is the front of the house. So the plan is to, um, from that far stake up to the front of the house, slope the land at a quarter inch per foot. Um, so I'm going to dig all of this out in here. Uh, so we get a quarter of an inch per foot slope so the water that hits here will drain away from the house and uh, I borrowed a friend's laser level and did some calculations and um, From that bottom of that stake to the front of the house is a rise of 45 inches and it's like I think it's 75 feet to the from the stake up to here. So uh, quarter inch per foot gives me 18 and a quarter inches, and to deduct that from the uh, rise of 45 gives me about 26. I already figured this out once a couple weeks ago. Wrote it on the stake, 26 and a half inches. So from the bottom of that stake, 26 and a half inches down that is the top of the slab and we're actually going to go four inches below that so that i can put topsoil back in here and that will walk out of the basement right onto uh, a patio that is at the same grade as the grass out here so i was just double checking that so i'm going to actually get the excavator and set the laser up and dig a trench from here to that stake 26 and a half inches down, completely level. And that will give me the, um, actually we're gonna go, we're gonna go four inches down. So basically it's 30 inches down. So 30 inches down is gonna give me the bottom of the slab, the four inch slab in the cellar. So that's my plan is to get the excavator and set up the uh, laser and dig this trench across here at. 30 inches down and that's going to give me kind of the benchmark and then I'll be able to uh, I'll be able to strip this topsoil in here I'm going to pile it over here and then I'm not sure how I'm going to do it but I am going to I'm going to dig from the 30 inch down mark to the bottom of that stake and pile all of that <clears throat> material up here somewhere and then try to grade this out with a tractor or the excavator somehow and then uh, once it's all graded back down i'm going to cover it with four inches of topsoil and that section will be done and then i'll actually be ready to dig the foundation so i don't want to dig the foundation make it look like a act like a pool and not have the water anywhere to drain out while uh, we're waiting for the foundation to get built so that's the plan Never done this before, so um, I'm just going to start. I mean, how bad can it go? <laughs> all right. There's also poison ivy all over the ground here. So I already have a bad case of it. Hopefully, I don't get any more. All right, I'll set the camera up, and uh, you can watch me. You watch me do some digging. Thanks.
Well, I stripped off the topsoil down to that stake. And the next thing I'm going to do is starting at that bottom of the trench. I'm going to dig a trench all the way down to that stake and try to get to get it completely level or flat. Won't be level, but it'll be flat. And that will dictate the bottom of this trench. And then at that point, I can start digging out this material down to these benchmarks that I've established. And the object is to get this material into the house site over here, because I can deal with it from there. And then once that's all in, I mean all dug out and smooth, then I'm going to use the tractor or maybe the excavator and put the topsoil back in the hole to smooth this all back out. Because this is eventually going to be a patio area here. I don't, I don't really know, you know. <laughs> By rights, this should be, this is going to be a stone wall right here as well. So, so there's a lot of uh, just make it up as you go kind of going on here today. Well, for uh, not having any idea what I'm doing, I think it's actually coming out all right. basement and 
I just can't see having a basement if you can't walk out of it. I'm not walking up and down cellar stairs. And I'm not building a pool under my... done for the day I'd like to stay longer but uh, I've got other commitments so uh, you can see that that's kind of what I was looking to try to achieve it's not perfect but it is a quarter inch per foot rise from that stake well uh, below the, the topsoil there to down here so that's what I was trying to achieve. This is, um, I'm going to put all the topsoil back next time. But down here, this is all going to get, you know, flattened out into a patio space. I just don't, uh, I just didn't get to that today. And my, what I'd like to do next time is actually start digging out for the foundation area. Don't have the gimbal hooked up, but you see what I've got going on already. There's a little bit at the very end there. I've got it's not quite level, but oh, the laser seems to be working good. I had the actual had the stick upside down. I couldn't figure out why the readings were all wrong. Anyway, <laughs> you learn. I'm learning the hard way. So I'm. Just about done there, and then I'm going to set over and uh, dig this trench here, dig this out, and at the same time, I'm going to try and I'll get it down to this level, uh, probably four feet past those sticks all the way down and stack the material.
this off the rock. I guess I'll put it in the rock pile. Oh, it's just over here. But it don't fall out. That's a big rock too. I don't know how I'm gonna get that out of there. Let's see.
I got the cellar hole dug. Um, the footings around the outside and uh, are not in, and the footings for the, the posts in this inside and the whoops and the chimney footing is not dug yet. I try I thought about trying to dig the footing as I went, but basically I had no idea. You can't can't have string lines and stuff, so. I'm going to drive the excavator in here later in the week and uh, try to dig the footing. Now first I'm going to get this completely, it's very close to level, except for that corner needs to be fixed a little. I'm going to get this completely level, screed it off, and maybe run my compactor over it to get it perfectly flat. And then I'll drive the excavator, I'll stake out the uh, actual building inside here and um, maybe paint some lines for the where the footings are going and try to dig that out with the excavator I you know it's not going to be it's not the best situation but I don't know how else to do it I've never done this before and would have been nice to have like a, a dump truck here to, so I don't have these giant piles around the outside but I don't have a dump truck, so I'm just going to do what I can. I'm going to try to level them off. Maybe I can get the uh, concrete truck to drive up them to pour the walls, or maybe we'll have to get a pump pump truck here for the concrete. I don't know. Anyways, uh, tomorrow uh, I'm going to start working on the electrical service, so I won't be working on this. I can't believe I got all this done. The excavator worked great. Uh, no leaks, didn't overheat, <clears throat> uh, so I got some footage, hopefully it, it uh, came out good enough to watch. And if we turn you around, you can see I did this yesterday, so this is the drainage out from the, uh, from the drain lines around the cellar. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, Stay tuned to the next video. See ya.